Hello everyone, right, Dojo Weekly News, and I thought I'll start this week uh, with uh, the weekly tip. Now, as far as Mondays go, uh, on the, let's say, a pain scale of like 10 being the most painful uh, thing ever, uh, a usual Monday for me uh, would be about five or six. We, we all, uh, you know, we all can have those Monday uh, blues and uh, just the start of the week, uh, anxieties and and everything else uh, but this Monday for me has been like a uh, the start of it has been like a 9.5 I'd say uh, okay I'll, I'll be really honest uh, really really struggling uh, with this Monday uh, I'm knackered absolutely knackered uh, my legs hurt from the training so uh, I'm actually really quite uncomfortable and uh, feel like there's a million one things I should have done yesterday things that I should have done this morning, things that how am I going to fit it all in uh, this week and everything else. Quite quite overwhelming in all actually, uh, but uh, the weekly tip is keep moving, okay? I, I feel like uh, I'm running with a pace of life at light speed at times. I'm, I'm light speed all the time. That's probably why I'm quite tired, why I'm sore and things like that, is I haven't given myself uh, much uh, day, uh, downtime uh, over the last uh, few days, last week or even more really. But I feel like I'm running light speed. And when you're running with things at light speed, it feels like you're you're in, in keeping with the speed of it, if it makes sense, okay? Uh, where today I've sort of crash out and gone to a bit of a skid you've got to get up and keep moving again if you keep moving uh, trust in it that you will maybe at the end of today maybe maybe in an hour's time maybe at the end of this week I'll then feel like yes I'm back up there again okay but you've got to get moving here all the time that you just sit still uh, and don't even face those things uh, above in you then you're, you're not you're not going to get back to where you want to be so week 18 uh, 291, the theme is fear. Forget everything can run or face everything can raise. So keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage uh, with others. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. So this week's lesson content, we are going to do self-defense. Uh, self-defense is probably the trickiest uh, lesson plan to deliver, to deliver remotely. I've already done a few uh, self-defense lesson plans and posted them uh, online with this week's, uh, with the weekly remote training. Uh, but to do all the classes, Zoom as well, self-defense this week, purely the self-defense theme will be interesting. So I'm looking forward to that and do join us for all of those Zoom sessions. Um, uh, just a little bit of a recap on all the lessons. We've uh, we've cycled through eight. This is the eighth week of lesson plans now uh, the, that we've cycled through since the last grade, seven of which we have now done uh, remotely. So we've gone through all of our line work. Uh, we've gone through focus pads. We've gone through bag work. We've gone through sparring. We've gone through kata. We've gone through fitness. Uh, we've covered the entire syllabus uh, online now, and it is still all online for you to get to as well, okay? Uh, so get get on our member site, go back through our Facebook, uh, it's all there for you to access and stay up to date and even catch up if needed uh, on, on your martial arts training and syllabus, okay? Uh, I'm really feeling, I've spoken to a few people in different industries and different uh, walks of life about this, but I'm really feeling uh, this whole situation is going to make or break people. There are people that are being broken right now, or, you know, our hand in the air, are finding it a little bit uh, tough at the moment. But if we focus on it, we can raise out of it as stronger people, uh, more successful people than when we went in, okay? Or we could come out of this completely destroyed and uh, not be able to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off. So I know which one I want to be and you can follow us uh, with that. We're currently working hard at our dojo on numerous things uh, to have it all uh, top notch, shiny and everything for when everyone comes back. So it's extra exciting uh, to come back to. Uh, so I'll keep you posted in all those bits, including like finishing upstairs for instance. That was a, a job uh, that we uh, bit off more than we could could chew but we've used the time now to get that all real uh, 
uh, tidy for everyone, okay? Uh, so it's not too late to get to this online remote training party. Uh, having a household of girls of various schooling ages and uh, needs and everything else, we know how difficult it is to engage uh, even ourselves uh, with activities and things at time, but it's not too late to get with the online party. So Zoom training today, uh, three o'clock kids and juniors, four o'clock Kata and weapons and then seven o'clock adults and juniors then i'm doing a face uh book uh live mindfulness monday uh after the eight o'clock uh at around eight o'clock after the kickboxing uh or the adult and junior training tonight so it's not too late to get on board all of that yes the zoom it might not be your thing uh, okay you can join on that and not have your video on and just watch us uh, okay uh, at least we get to talk to you and uh, everything where possible we've had a couple of glitches uh, with old wi-fi and everything else uh, but where possible we're putting everything uh, on uh, that's on zoom on facebook live at the same time so you can watch that and follow in your own time just let us know if you are doing that okay because we can't obviously hear or see you uh, on that one okay as i said all the pre-recorded stuff is all on our members area we're no longer going to upload the training videos to our uh, Facebook uh, group. Uh, we upload the links and everything else, uh, but it's been so time consuming and uh, so annoying when you get to like 99% upload and it stops and everything else. So we've got a majority of people on the members group, uh, on the members websites. So if you're not yet, get on the members website. Uh, you've got access to every single pre-recorded uh, video there. Everything that we put online uh, goes on there and uh, we can use group still for our uh, Facebook Live, following the Zoom sessions, and we'll put the link on there to uh, the weekly daily classes as well. Okay, uh, this is one for all of our members, uh, okay? We are giving all of our members, I am giving personally every member a one-to-one -one, uh, referral. You could have uh, a one-to-one -one, uh, training session. You could have 10 one-to-one -one training sessions with, uh, with myself. Uh, we, uh, all we are asking for is you refer to someone to the dojo. Usually when we're open, we're very uh, grateful to have all of our members bringing new people down, introducing them into our dojo and everything. And uh, like anyone that runs a business and knows, you need continual uh, new customers and everything else uh, just to uh, turn those uh, cogs of a business. And uh, so uh, if you introduce someone to our online, uh, our now remote uh, dojo, then uh, I'll give you a one-to-one -one session. It could be a family member, it could be a friend or, or anyone else. So uh, I'm going to message everyone uh, today uh, that has already introduced someone and offer them their one-to-one. -one. And if you've got anyone else, then let us know. Or if they get in touch, let them know to let us know that it was you that got them in touch. Okay. So your own family. Uh, so uh, for instance, if I introduced uh, Cece uh, to the dojo, uh, we would like to give honorary joining, honorary membership to uh, joining uh, of the dojo too. Uh, so during this whole COVID-19 thing, uh, because we've got a number of uh, brothers, sisters, even mums or dads joining in, and you might feel a bit like, oh, you know, I've got to wait till I go back now or anything else. We want to give all of those people honorary uh, membership. So for instance, Gabe, your sister, Eleanor, if she'd like to be an honorary member of our dojo now, uh, as it's during this uh, COVID-19 uh, situation, we're giving her uh, the, the membership. And then Gabe, you got your one-to-one -one, uh, with me, so we can get that uh, booked in. And uh, then when we can reopen our dojo, all of those honorary members, you can stay as an honorary member online, you can stay following what we're going to do with the online side of things in Incorporated with our lessons when we get back to our dojo training, uh, or you know, better still, you actually come down into the classes uh, when we're back. Okay. Uh, as I said, we've got lots of things that we're doing here and we're getting a few bits uh, that we wanted to get prior to all of this. At the start of the year, Lauren and I were talking about, oh, we need to get one of these, one of those to the dojo. And we've managed to be able in uh, the current climate to get a, a few things really discounted and everything else. So we've made a point of getting what we wanted to get. And 
it'd be yeah as soon as I got it I'll let you know I want to have it in here in physical sense to show you what those are all excited to come back to uh, we would like your help and support on the numbers uh, at our dojo so thank you thank you to everyone that has continued to support uh, we're looking like we're going to be able to come out of this and uh, open I know of numerous businesses uh, that won't be numerous businesses that I know of have already closed our doors and will not be reopening uh, thanks to the help of all of our members uh, you know it's very 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 likely we're going to be opening but you know we just don't know when that's going to uh, be everything's going to be continuing till then uh, online in the capacity even more uh, than what we're doing at the moment uh, but please help us with our numbers so uh, next uh, dojo news I'll come in with the actual numbers uh, but if if you can help us just one extra person two extra person it just helps not only our dojo but the the cashman family uh, livelihood to survive as well uh, okay so can't can't thank you enough for that if you can uh, get any reviews on our uh, Facebook or send us testimonies or anything else like that, that all goes a, a long way for us also, okay? Uh, so, you know, if you can refer someone, brilliant. If you can review something, excellent. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard times, really hard times uh, at the moment, okay? Uh, really hard times uh, financially for everyone, really hard times uh, emotionally for everyone, uh, for families, for uh, individuals on their own, for the uh, but I have to say I'm really proud of all of our, our members. I'm proud of my family, okay? Uh, I'm proud for everyone out there who has uh, stuck fast, stuck hard uh, through through these times. And we're, we will see the other side uh, soon, I'm sure. Uh, also, we're not aware of every key worker that we have in our uh, membership. We're not aware of everyone's role, you know, your mums and dads' roles and everything that they're playing. So if if any of your family are key workers are on the actual front line in the trenches with this uh, horrible virus then uh, let us know maybe share a photo if you feel uh, appropriate or you know privately uh, with us we would like to have a, a shout out for those people okay we're there clapping at eight o'clock on Thursdays but we'd like to use our community uh, to uh, share uh, positive vibes with them as well because if we're fighting feeling it hard they must be feeling it hard also right last thing time scale of things uh, looking to the future this uh, May we have an e-tournament so this weekend I'll do another post about uh, the e-tournament that we're doing that you can enter Cata weapons and uh, shadow spa uh, competition in because we want to keep that competitiveness going we want to give you something to look forward to and enjoy so in May uh, we have an e-tournament the events are going to continue in June we are going to have our summer course in what capacity that is we're not sure yet we've got to wait uh, to follow guidelines but at the end of June we will be having our, our summer course whether it's uh, you know social distancing at a field or in uh, a zoom capacity or but one way or another we are having a summer course and that's for sure and in July we are definitely having our club grading so last week we were talking with all of the instructors and we were saying how important it is to uh, maintain goals and focus uh, in our lives and uh, we feel it really important that we have the summer gradings the July gradings again in what capacity that will be we'll have to wait and see whether it's going to be a grading for a badge award or a part grading towards your grading or maybe Maybe the whole thing, we're, you know, that's July, that's a little way off in the uh, scheme of things. So uh, we'll keep you posted, but the most important thing is we are focusing on events and uh, things to be excited and uh, keep our motivation going forward. So peace out, Jill. Uh, love you all and catch up with you soon.